so it's the end of the first season. Um, not quite a, a grandstand finale, shall we say. I've masterminded potentially a 7th to 8th place finish, so I'm genuinely no better than um, Arteta. Actually, we could finish 9th, so it could actually be worse. Or we could make European football if Leicester bottle it and lose all their three last games and we win all ours. What do you think is more likely? <laughs> We can dream, viewers. We can dream. As, like I said, we are currently sat in seventh position. Let's actually bring it up so we can see and put my headphones on to make it look like I'm ready. So, like I said, that Leicester are currently sat in sixth, nine points ahead with three games to go. Do the math, and you will realize that that means we need to win every single game and they need to lose every single game. What I've decided to do is I'm going to play at least the first game against Leeds today. Should we win this game? Um, and Leicester lose, then we will carry on. But if Leicester win theirs, I will probably sim till the end of the season and we'll have a little chat about what comes next. A.K.A. the axe on my head. Now, with that in mind, we're going with the team that has performed so well over the last few games. That includes, obviously, Darwin Nunes playing up front. And Odegaard in that cam position, which seems to have suited him so well. There's even been an upturn in form of Alan St. Maximin. I mean, I... I can't believe it. I'm as shocked as anyone. Ah, I forgot about me. was coming back to the Emirates. That's a guaranteed goal for Leeds. Well, it may not be the season that we wanted. It may not have ended the way that I wanted it to. But I do feel in the last few months there has been progress made um, in the squad with the way that we played. As Aubameyang literally races around two of my players there. Because they've got so much speed with him and Rodrigo up front as well. Don't worry, I will obviously be keeping an eye on what is going on with Leicester. Do not worry. As soon as I know what's going on there, I'll let you know that's not a foul. I see. Odegaard, good ball there. Pepe hits it wide, looking for Anson Maximan. He's up against Jamie Shackleton. Goodbye, Shackers. Maximan to Nunes. I can't believe that that's not gone in. I can't believe that that's not gone in. Maybe I should have hit it first time rather than taking my time to set myself. Good play there by Gabriel Sisson Rodrigo down on his backside. Tilly into Odegaard. Odegaard, nice ball to Pepe, who lays it off to Party. Party plays into Nicolas Pepe. Pepe, bang! He's not very good on his right foot, but that's one hell of a finish. You wouldn't know it. It's his 17th goal of the Premier League season. Oh, yeah. Love that channel. Great play by Pepe. Great play by Party. And a sensational finish from our main man. Not bad, sir. Not bad. You will definitely be staying over the summer. Do you worry? Lovely defending there again by Gabriel. I feel so much more... I don't know. I just feel better at the back. I don't know if just my defending's improved or... If the, the players are just getting a bit better because of the confidence. I don't know, but I feel a lot more solid at the back and defending-wise. I feel a lot less... Panics every time they come near the box. Nice play by Leeds here. They're trying to find Aubameyang. He's dropping so deep. I never saw him play a pass like that for me. Aubameyang on the ball. Anyone want to go to him? Saka's tackling now as well. Everyone's making an effort not to let Aubameyang score. I love it. One minute at the break. Um, yeah, very compact, very composed, very good overall. I'd have to say I'm feeling pretty content. I've not seen any other score lines come up, so I'm guessing that we're playing at a different time to everybody else. Back to party. Ball by party. Finds Pepe. Turns his man. That's so unlucky that hasn't gone in. What an effort by Pepe. I can't believe it's not gone in. Lovely play there. Nunes drills it past to Alan Maximan. That is... <laughs> I feel dirty for that going in as Darwin Nunes scores. That was a shot by Alan Samaxman. This, watch here, was a shot. He gets the assist, but my word. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Someone cannot finish on their left foot at all. Saka into Pepe. Pepe dances inside his man, bends it. Great save there by Meslier. 
we're now beginning to cook with gas. I'm feeling so, so much more confident with the team. That was nearly uh, beautiful from Alan to Maximan. Great play by Party. We're toying with leads now. Neves hits it. Oh! I've been waiting for a Neves pile driver all all season, and it hasn't quite happened. I know he scored, but not one of his trademark curling pile drivers. Saka, what a ball into Nicolas Pepe. You're away, my man. Pepe, bang. 3-0. Crucial, beautiful, clinical. It's everything. He yeah, I love him so much. I don't know. I was just saying words. Though. I don't think any of them made sense, but... You can tell Messi, he's kind of telling me, go on, go on, go on, where am I going to go? And I just go, right, I'll just put it to your uh, to your left hand side, mate. Lovely finish, great goal, great performance overall. The only thing that hasn't we haven't had is a Darwin Nunes goal. It's literally the only thing this game hasn't had. But his hold up play has been so good. Neves, good ball to Pepe, he finds Nunes, Nunes to Pepe. Pepe drives away. Oh, I tried to hit it and he didn't, but he shoot. I just got too close to the goalkeeper. We played by Arsenal. Ah, oh, Gabriel was going to release us there. I could have got Pepe a hat trick. I'll take a 3 0. A very, very comfortable victory on the day. Adolfo Nunes did score, sorry, I forgot. So Maxman had that wonderful shot that hit him and went in. Eight shots to two, less possession, better with the ball when we did have it. Perfect. Leicester have not played yet. They've not played yet. Let's see what happens before the Newcastle game. Damn, Leicester drew, and with that, that means we can no longer qualify for European competition, which is gutting. And then they won, so it is over, which means what I'll do is I am going to advance, because there's no point... In worrying too much about the uh, the rest of the the season, let's just simulate it through. We can see what the scores will be here. We beat Newcastle two one. End of the season in very good form, to be fair. If we beat Everton, we've had a sensational finish to the season. It's just a bit of a shame, really, that my start was so bad. Everton at home lost one nil. Well, we get 159 million pounds for finishing seventh. Um, Ten points behind Leicester. There's a lot of work to do for next year, but I feel like maybe towards the end of the season, that little run of form has maybe given me a bit more confidence, but I still have some concerns. Well, with that being the end of the season then, let's have a little look at how things finished. Um, overall, Chelsea won the title by one point from Manchester City, three points from Liverpool, uh, and Man United with four points. So Spurs actually finished on the same amount of points as United, but missed out on Champions League football. <laughs> On goal difference, then it was Leicester, then ourselves, uh, then you get to the usual suspects. People that went down then, Burnley, Norwich, and Crystal Palace. There's a couple of players in maybe those sides I'd like to take. I'm thinking Eze at Palace would definitely be one I'm interested in potentially taking because he's a, a very good footballer. So I might try and have a look at him, maybe even Rafinha from Leeds. But I think next year I've got to really focus on maybe getting in either, I don't know if it's quality in the squad or if it's quality in the first team. We'll work it out. In terms of top goal scorers, you can tell Pepe finished 6th there with 18 goals, but uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is Mars Ed with 29 goals uh, in 38 games. Vardy on 26, which isn't bad. Then you've got Mane, Kane, Werner, Pepe. Uh, Salah down in 14th seems a bit odd, but Roberto Firmino also got 14. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about that, if I'm honest. But either way, what I would say is that... Oh, hang on. What was the assists like? Ramsdale actually kept the third most clean sheets. Interesting. Uh, Pepe does get the most amount of assists, though, so you can tell he basically averaged just under a goal involvement, um, a goal involvement, a game, which is pretty impressive either way. It doesn't look like I'm going to get sacked, which is good. But at the same time, what I'm thinking is that I do need to add a little bit more quality to the side, but I do still have to keep it realistic which means that we're not going to be fishing from any of the big four maybe even not from Leicester and Spurs well not that I buy anyone from Spurs anyway but you know what I mean I've got to play it relatively like you would do do you know what I mean we can't just go and start buying all the best players if we get that amount of money I have no idea what the budget will be we'll find that out at the start of the next episode which will of course be the start to season two and make no mistake about it I need to improve so let's hope that we can do that what I would say is thank you so much for watching this first season of my Arsenal save on FIFA 2022. 20, uh, it's been amazing. It's been great fun. Thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the support. 
we will be back for season two with some new intros, some new signings, and hopefully a better finish and some, uh, well, yeah, just a better performance all around the season. Trophy silverware needs to be won next season, definitely. And telling everyone, take care of yourselves and stay cool. Bye.